Hello everyone, I am Sacred, a hearty welcome to you all and thank you all for joining me in another mod spotlight in Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are going to take a look to a very very special and very very new mod. It's called the Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour and it's quite big with 178 megabytes of size. So this mod came out four days ago and it already got more than 3000 subscriptions, so that's great. Well, the mod is still in early alpha, you can see it's in the version open 1.3, but what does this mod offer? Well, link to this mod is as always down below in the mod description. You can join their Discord, you can join my, my Discord too. Check out the links down below in the description, thank you. So, are you tired of Vanilla ignoring the larger part of history? Luxembourg conquering the world by 1941? Canadian naval invasions ruining the dreams of, of Lebensraum? Then this mod is for you. By improving and balancing the base game, Darkest Hour offers an experience that is not only more historically accurate, but is also immersive and enjoyable at the same time. Playing as a miner is more challenging and therefore world conquests are even harder and more difficult to achieve. Yet, the mod still allows for plausible alternative history. When historical plans are available, these will be used, whether they were either proposed or partially implemented. In other cases, the principles of the past guide content creation. There are a couple of features. Let's take a look to the map first. Well, you can choose from two scenarios, from the Blitzkrieg one or from the Road to War one. Well, since this only offers an extended overhauled one, one experience, you shouldn't expect a different map, which you certainly won't get. But, for example, Germany, there's a difference. Germany is called in the beginning only Deutsches Reich, and then when it's bigger, it's called Groß Deutsches Reich, so the Greater German Empire. So let's see the features in this mod. We currently have implemented following revised national focus trees for majors and minors, only German is currently done. Reworked and tweaked technologies extended to color the 60s. Adding new modifiers to reflect a little superiority or and inferiority of certain countries, for example the German Blitzkrieg, British our finest hour, and the Soviet Great Patriotic War, Vilike, Atietia, and much more. Tons of new events to improve immersion and flavor, including the Reichskommissariat event, both historical, planned and plausible ones north, east and west of Germany to fulfill all of your Lebensraum needs. Rebalance of the weather and terrain modifiers, making it even more meaningful. World wars aren't meant to be done in a couple years. Rebalance everything from tanks to planes to ships and manpower for a more authentic and realistic army composition. Limited division spam for both the player and the AI, thus reducing the amount of lag in the mid and late game. So that's a thing I really like. Add new custom spirits for air and ground assets. Nail ones will be done in the incoming patches. New loading screens and more than 75 new loading screen quotes. More will be added in the future. Keep in mind that the mod is still a work in progress. There are three featured mods, Map Nerd by Yakes, more unit levels vanilla range and the realistic ambition slide by Aerodil. There, while the description is really thorough, there are some fancy pictures, so go sure to check them out. So, let's get into the game then. Since, well, the German focus is only done. We could start from the 1936, the road to war scenario, but because I start from there all the time and I'm sure you all want to see war already. I'm going to start from the 1939 Blitzkrieg timeline on regular with historical air focuses. So, apparently the mod claims that you will experience a historical, uh, well, guy. Plus, conquering the world will be harder. We shall see into that. So, uh, alright. So we start with Germany and the German focus tree is, well, as you can see, kind of finished. It's, I mean, expanded and completely reworked. For example, let's start from left. You can, well, uh, 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 strengthen, I was going to say, uh, strengthen the Schutzstaffel. Then you have, like, several, well, opportunities to expand. You can do the Madagration plan, Madagascar plan. That's quite a bit. Or you can do the final solution. So that's, uh, yeah. 
the final solution that's quite uh, radical, I would say. Then you can do a Reiskau Golden Land. Um, it's that. Well, you can see a thorough description. Really thorough. You can pause if you want. Then Romania will become owner and control of some states. And then you can do the General Plan Ost, where you will gain a core on most of the states uh, of. of what? Of the Soviet Union, actually. So that's really interesting. Then you, you get the Auftrags tactic. So if you want to learn some German, you should perhaps play this mod because there yeah, are many German <laughs> words used. So Auftrags tactic, Achtung, Panzer, Attention, Tanks, Blitzkrieg, Nibelungs, Nibelungen Werk. So these are some historical tank factories. The Treaty of Rapport with the Soviets, the Molotov Rundrop Pack, then you can form the Berlin Moscow Axis. What I like is you can actually execute Operation Barbarossa in seven days. So I don't think the Soviets will have mm, enough time to prepare. So that isn't much. You can actually save up after 10 days, how you know. If it's saved up, just you click and then you can execute the operation and therefore hitting the Soviets unprepared. Then you can spot Arab nationalism, spot African nationalism, the third. The Boer War in Africa, the Greater Arab Union. That and then you can even do Deutsch Middle Africa and release all of Africa as a puppet. That's yeah, interesting to say the least. Then his basic path of demanding Slovenia during the fight of Greece or war with Greece securing the Balkans. Well, you could actually puppet Bulgaria, well, that's quite interesting. Uh, okay, then we have Danzig War or Danzig for Slovakia. And the Czech industry retooled to the second Vienna award. The alliance was by in the pack of steel, the Italian lions, Operation Felix. Uh, you can rearm the Kriegsmarine. And then, well, the focus tree is really thorough. I'm going to play. And then you have a industrial path here where you can boost the German industry. So, if you want to play this mod, I would suggest you to play, to play the German mission. So we are currently fascist, surprised, uh, and I have a lack of, well, of, as always, civil factories, but I have to uh, focus on military ones outside, so let's build military factories throughout our great nation. Uh, I don't think that actually infrastructure matters here, does it? If we check, it's uh, 27th September, it doesn't matter, yeah. So you, you can just build the factories where you want. Just going to build it. Spread out in, in, in Bavaria too, and then in the Rhineland as well. Alright. And Germany also have, has five research slots. Well, how you knew already, the technology tree is partly reworked. So it offers, it should offer, as I said, and, uh, material until 1964, but it isn't completely done yet. But it's still like, partly reworked. For example, you can, uh, you are split between a Rifle research and the MP research. There you go, yeah, we can see. Then you can get to well, the tank research here, the mouse especially. Then artillery is the same. Lamb doctrine is, I think, not reworked. You have the naval tree, the same as well, I think. Only it's reworked until 1955. So some things have been added. Just these four, basically. Then you have naval doctrines. The air, the air path is well completely reworked. As you can see, it's it offers planes until 1960. That's quite interesting. Then you can actually get new planes like the Fokker Wolf BF 109, Franz Emil <laughs> airlock train, and then the industrial path is the same. So let's go and just pick the necessary fix. For example, let's get atomic research, and then I want to expand on my land doctrine to the comfortable. Yeah, I think still that there's a problem that you are finished with the uh, land doctrines already by 1940 or 1941. That's if you ask me a bit too early, but yeah, let's get the MPs researched. Let's get, okay, marines we can get later. And I want to get signal companies and better tanks. Let's get Panzer. Four tanks. We have a boost on that, so let's use the boost thoroughly. Uh, our enough three isn't equipped, so we have to equip ourselves. This wouldn't be a problem. Let's get many weapons, some 
support equipment, motorized artillery, anti-air, anti-tank. Let's get artillery, anti-tank, anti-air, mm, motorized. Then let's get um, both medium tanks and heavy tanks. Alright, well, I think our current template is... Well, let's get more medium tanks. Let's also get, we have many fighters, uh, we have BF-109, we have one on an Emil, let's get the Emil one, that's a new one. Let's get the Junker 87G as well. Our set completely reworked. Let's get this going and researched, alright, five each for here. Then outside let's get even more artillery and even more weapons at this very point. So it's what will be an empire with all weapons? Alright, nail dockyards. Uh, I don't know, should I build the... Let's build the heavy cruiser because that's the only new ship. I mean, the British will destroy it anyway, so I'm not even sure of building that. Should we... Let's build your submarines. Boy, the right of the game. Yeah. Yeah, we build them in Schleswig with Kallestein. So, we have a thousand and two hundred points available, as always. You know that, so let's just fill up our... If this has a battle, then we can get ground support. High command, Ferdinand Czerna, and also... Well, I could get him, so let's save for that. We can get a Bloom and Voss, let's get an Atlantic uh, Raiding Fleet designer. Uh, Aircraft designer, Messerschmitt. And then we can get many... Well, let's get, for example, who will we get? A war industrialist. And also uh, the Solvent Workers. So, alright, we have to set up our army for battle, for the invasion of the body states. You can see that the army symbols are also completely reworked. The division symbols are completely reworked. So, but the war against the party should be done really, really quick, swiftly, without any problems. We have 56 divisions. Ready against the Polish side. Alright, then let's uh, get our divisions here in this. Yeah, we have 55 uh, SS Standarte der Führer. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we have many divisions after all. Uh, but, you know. Mm. Well, let's just ready them up here and then create a fallback line. Although we have to yeah, do many preparations since we want to invite the. Frenchman, as well. Uh, I can detach these. Well, I mean they're quite strong, so hmm. let's detach these Grenz Commando troops and assign them to garrisoning tasks. We only have five of them. Well, um, I just want to ensure that we won't get navally invited. We need a six. I think I might have sure. some here as well. Yeah, I have plenty. That's for sure. Let's separate most of them away from this brigade, so they will be, so they will garrison our last empire. Uh, all right, so we need eight, so that's quite reasonable. Then I want to research. Uh, well, you know, the war started on the first of September, so let's research. Well, I mean, everything takes a long of time, so hmm, yeah, I could do the Danzig War right now, but let's. Ready a bit more, and we can go, for example, for uh, the strengthening of the Schutzstaffel. Let's do that, yeah. Founded to safeguard the personal safety of the Führer. Uh, well, how we can see the w events also reworked of the Führer. The Schutzstaffel's defining chief was Heinrich Schimmler. Under his ambitious leadership, the SS grew to become the worst organization that it was. Members swore a personal oath to Hitler, each stating that Meine Ehre heißt Treue, that their honor would guarantee their loyalty. Meine Ehre heißt Treue. We can invite. Uh, what you can invite? Bagger Yugoslavia? Well, I think that's not really that historical, is it? They got fascist influence. Well, I'm gonna gladly invite the Yugoslavians so we don't have to fight them. Look to that. Hello, Yugoslavia! I can invite Bulgaria too. Well, I wouldn't have expected that since they claimed it to be more historical, but okay, let's greatly appreciate it. Yeah, then. Alright, should we do the award first with the Hungarians before go going to war? I'm not sure, it's simply 
Well, the time we may start the war one month later. Who cares after all? Yeah, okay. Our air force is got a kind of ready. I would just climb here. We need 25 tanks, so let's get it from a fascist ally. None has it, so let's get it from the Portuguese. Just help them because they won't be strong, anyways. There we go. Alright, so our army is ready here. Oh, what's that? Kun in Yugoslavia. Immediately after. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh. <laughs> nice. I know his story, and I know that actually Yugoslavia signed the pact, but they did a, but they did a coup, and here uh, the Yugoslavians declined. So immediately after the government of Prince Paul signed the Tripartite Pact, a group of Yugoslavian Air Force officers executed a well-planned coup that replaced the legitimate government and put the under-HP that second on the throne. The Yugoslavian government has fallen entirely with the new leaders declaring Paul's signature null and void. Uh, that's and they are being guaranteed by the UK and by France. But what? I could invite them once more. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> um, okay, I should invite them once more. So I think that event has to be reworked since we just invited them again. I would suggest that they should add a modifier where Yugoslavia has a minus a thousand uh, AI, well, credibility to join the faction. But here, yeah, it didn't really work out them well. But it, it, it's not intention, but it has to be reworked since we could just reinvite them immediately. So, but the AI would have, I think, declared war on Yugoslavians because you know the AI. It's already the 19th of September because I want to do the second Vienna World first. Transylvania has a Hungarian majority and should rightly to belong to our friends in Hungary. However, it is hard to say how the Romanian regime. And people will react to this demands. Well, they will react in a friendly way, I think. Let's develop Silesia. Uh, Silesia. Yeah. Alright. There we go. We have around 300 political power. Now, yeah, I'm gonna get a theorist, so I can't get him. Can I get someone here? Let's get Mauser, Inventory Equipment Designer. But, well, that historical player was nice, but it didn't work out that well for the Yugoslavians, did it? Suddenly, I would say not really. Let's get more medium tanks. Our last nation. And assign our airplanes already on, on to their task. I have 132 transport planes. It's quite overkill if you ask me. I don't intend to do uh, naval operations. So what's where's my air force? I it is quite small. A Kampfgeschwader. Schwachtgeschwader, ja, Geschwader. Alright. At least we have air in Western Poland, but our air force lacks the strength. Clearly. It's only... it's really small. We only have around 700 points. That's not really historical. The British have around 2,000 already, so that's... yeah. Otherwise, let's send our fleet into East Prussia, because the British, I'm sure, will destroy it if they see it on demand. And let's separate our, our submarines to sign them to schleswig Holstein. Not the whole city, that you were gonna... Stay there. Alright. So, saying that... I can... I can't do it. I'm gonna split up my submarine. So I have two submarine divisions. Uh, the second one will be... Hmm, okay. Erich Redel. He's a blockade runner. That's really not really... Let's get... Hmm, fine. Erich Redel. Grosse Admiral Erich Redel. He's gonna... Do convoy riding. So we can use the mid-Atlantic gap for that purpose. Let's do that. Yeah. But then we get mid-Atlantic and the Mara Plain. While our second submarine division will head out for convoy raiding. In the North Atlantic Ridge, Labrador Sea. And mid-Atlantic gap as well. Alright, second we are now wards. Recognizing that a new order has been established in Europe, we have been taking a bin asked by Hungary and Romania to arbitrate a in a territorial dispute between the two countries. Transylvania was taken from Hungary and incorporated into Romania in one of the many ill-conceived changes forced upon the world at Versailles. Should non Transylvania be returned to Hungarian control? Let's say uh, give Hungary another Transylvania. Yeah, now it's time for the war. 
Now it's Danzig of War. Danzig was German. Danzig has remained German and Danzig shall, shall be German from now on. If Poland does not see the territory, we must prepare the German people for the inevitable war. Danzig and the surrounding lands will return to Germany. I like to invite Hungary. That's a good thing. Well, Europe shall be drawn and torn join the Allies. Look at the vets. They are scared. The Polish are scared clearly. Well, I want to boost. So let's see. Can I boost perhaps in Britain? It's uh, no. It's yeah. Won't work. In the U.S. Although, yeah, I won't do a long-term coup anyways. But let's see. Okay. Then it is war. Then it is war against the Polish. I'm sorry, Poland. Here, I'm gonna declare war. My troops are ready and steady, are they? Yep. In the entire front. Call allies. There we go. The beginning of the first world war. Why right. didn't give him a command? Let's give him Field Marshal Günther von Kluge, and we're gonna get General uh, Erwin Rommel, the Wüstenfuchs. Now executing to attack the Polish state. Oh well, we declare war on our own before the events. We can do Heimens Reich or Fargelb. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm sure you want to see war, so I'm going to execute Fargelb. If you want to ensure a tactical advantage against France, we need to be able to hit them from all sides. Which is actually, actually let's wait for the Polish campaign to finish. Yeah, I'm just instead going to do Achtung Panzer. A book by Heinz, Heinz Guderian. It advocated for a widespread use of tanks and motorized or mechanized infantry to replace the historical tactical role fulfilled by cavalry. This meant that tanks had to be organized in dedicated panzer units supported by mobile infantry and artillery. It was key to enhance battlefield cooperation and maneuver by outfitting panzers, panzers with radios and intercoms. I really like the events, I have to admit to that for one instance. Ihre Befehle. Ihre Befehle. Your order is these right. 21 divisions ready against the Dutch, against the Kingdom of the Netherlands, and then mm, let's get these 12 to ready against the Belgians. Uh, the Belgians kind of stack the front. They have 15 divisions on one line. That's quite some overkill. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let them demand Southern Dobruja, and then my units here ready cover the job. The jump provinces and ensure the French won't enter. Befehle. Yeah, I'm going to assign my finest generals, Erich von Manstein and uh, Heinz Guderian. Let's. I have a plan, I have a plan. Yeah, let's assign three more Befehle. units to this division, 24, and let's fall like line for now. Yeah, I'm gonna invite mainly through the Netherlands. Belgium is well, well to good stacked, to say the least. He's just gonna get uh, third up on block. Naval combat. What we are finding the bots of British fleet plays doing there. What we just shot down four British light cruisers and 14 British submarines. We just shot down five British heavy cruisers. We just killed the entire British fleet. What? Our submarines just killed five heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, 16 destroyers. One Nimrod and one shark. I'm, 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 I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I was just intending to uh, write them and not to des destroy the entire British fleet. Well, that's okay. Okay. Uh, we can't get to the Portuguese because it's being blocked, I guess. Let's get it from the... We are kind of locked here. Will I... Won't I really say yes? Let's see. Oh, it works. What we need steel as the German states. Oh no, we need more tanks. Well, the Großdeutsche Reich shouldn't have any problems now since I'm going to enact a closed economy. Alright. There we go. I'm not going to get any uh, yeah, factors from trade, but that's a necessity to preserve the German people. The war against the Polish is going splendid. We are currently. We have 2.2 million units fielded and the Allies have 2.5 million units fielded. But after we conquered Poland, you know, we have a non-aggression pact with the Soviets. Therefore, things are going to be really, really swift and smooth. 
I have a different right. plan since, yeah, I'm just going to swift our stats. Oh, that's a special event. We gain Blitzkrieg for 300 days, which grants us extra di division speed and division attack. Blitzkrieg! Well, there was a misspelling in the word Blitzkrieg, by the way. Oh, that's not a high. Oh, the French are raiding our convoys. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah, the French are truly raiding our convoys. We have to increase our convoy production. The, henceforth. Uh, I shouldn't. I can't afford to try it on a naval battle. Uh, yeah, they. Well, the Canadians lost convoys there, but we lost convoys too. We killed another British battalion. I mean, it's just submarines. It, they weren't intended to, show, to shoot down heavy British destroyers, were they? That's interesting. To say the least in that aspect. Well, let's see. I need more light tanks. Oh, I intend to replace them. You see, we have many, many division templates here at this very point. Uh, the uh, Leichte Division. I'm gonna rather say the Panzer Division. So I'm gonna replace them slowly with the medium tank battalions. And the surrender of Poland, and we got around 2000 weapons. Medium tank. Medium tank. Alright, it's been replaced. It's great. And what we require now is more medium tanks, so let's produce many, many medium tanks. Also, I would say more artillery. Maybe more motorized too. Like this. Alright, we need 26 tanks. I can try it with the Swedish. So you can see that yeah, it's pretty historical here. And yeah, I think I have to try it with the Swedes. Let's get 16 from them, and we have to try it with the Soviets. Because we have no other choice. Alright, so because otherwise it's just gonna get shot down. So I'll go for the modern Blitzkrieg here at this very point. And now look to that. I have four ingredients. I'm gonna do a different thing. I'm going to incorporate the Dutch and this brigade. Actually, you too. So we have 95 divisions. 95 divisions. I'm gonna ready them against the Dutch and the Luxembourgian states. And they're gonna rush and sweep through the Benelux. We have just to finish the Achtung Panzer, then time has come. Oh, we need so much tanks, and we have to get for the Soviets. Perhaps I shouldn't have went for... Okay, I don't care about the six factories. I may or may not get. Well, the Soviets, they are heavily re-equipping... Uh, and rearming themselves, that's for sure. Let's see, we are gonna grant, you know, the Eastern provinces to the Soviet Union. Let's see when, when the event is gonna fire. We can afford to get the MB40, that's a great thing. And China surrendered. Oh, I have to garrison Poland, I forgot. Yeah, uh, so let's not forget that. Um, let's get some bases with three divisions to garrison the Polish. I, sh I will. Uh, it gets and equip special division for the purpose. I think 15 should be more than enough at this very point. Alright. I'm going to occupy Poland in a normal manner. I require how many? I just require six. Let's see if I require them harshly. Yeah. You get more factory. Let's do a harsh. Yes. Yeah, we say all. Yes, treaty stipulations must be obeyed. There you go, so you need a toast for you. Enjoy it while it lasts, Bolsheviks. Enjoy it while it lasts. So now we're gonna do some harsh occupation on the Polish ground. They dare to sabotage it, they'll pay for it. They'll pay for it. We only require eight, nine, so this is fair enough. I have three factories, so let's get some submachine guns, since we can build actually MPs and Normal equipment, normal, normal rifles, so a complete rework how you can see, and the Italians are fighting, the French are ready, in the Alpines. But come on, we have to wait 10 more days Italy, then, then the war will be upon you, there, your soil. Let's move our planes to the Rhineland first, to reallocate them. I'm gonna assign them all to the Benelux. I should maybe, um, merge them first, I have some... I don't know what kind of planes this. I think heavy fighters. 
Uh, Schlacht Geschwader. Go for the Lux region. I don't need the transport plane so I can send you back to Brandenburg. You go there. Alright, and you too. That's great. So they're bombing us. Yeah. I simply need more planes. There's no way around. I need to heavily increase my plane production of BF-109 fighters. I have to. To ensure the safety of the drone people. And another battle. We are what? My little submarines destroyed three convoys, one light cruiser, four destroyers, two carriers, one heavy cruiser, two Nimrods, one shark and one Osprey. So, don't tell me that uh, that is not a power. There are things that have to get reworked to say the least in that way. Well, it turns out losing, but I couldn't care less. Now it's time for uh, the let's wait some dice so it gets refilled, and then I'm going to instantly get the. Falgelp and again a Congo focus against Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg. A German war machine is unleashed. Yeah. The German war machine is unleashed. So my infantry division is some kind of equipped Gebirgs division, let's try and I think mountain is always the better call if you compare them. Yeah they are. They're always mountaineers. Let's expand them, adding them more into their lines, and also get the American company. And of that, we can add this manually. I'm just gonna add manually artillery, anti tank, and anti air. Side it now, I'm gonna train many of the Ebirks division in Berlin. Let's train here. Yeah, 800,000 men, why not? 800,000 pristine fighters. Japan, I can greatly accept your help. Now it's time for Fall Kelp. Oh, just one more day, and we got Fall Road is bypassed. We got Fall Kelp. Pressure towards the Benelux. Now I'll just declare war on the Belgians, on the poor Luxembourgians, and on the Dutch at once. Alright, so we declared war on the ball. Now we can do Heim and Reich. German foreign policy known as Heim in Reich was aimed at bringing these people home in the empire. All across Europe, from the Tyrol, the Baltics, the former Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria, Romania, and the USSR, a total of 2 million ethnic Germans, Volksdeutsche, were resettled in newly acquired territory. Chiefly was the problem. Let's say yes. Of course, they joined the Allies. Now, these 90 divisions will attack them at once before the French uh, lines reinforce them. Right, like this, you want to strike to Paris. Ah, the Schlieffen plan. All right, there we go. Let's see how long they can resist. We are all running the troops. Well, the list is quite quick. We are fighting, by the way. We have 290 million troops fielded. The Allies have around 2 million troops in the field. We finished atomic research. Time to get increased for the equipment. And I'd say let's get let's stockpile convoys. We can invite a faction. We can invite whom? Oh, the Siamese Empire. All right. Let's invite Siam. Who dares wins? As well promoted. Oh, Siam is a nice springboard actually to invite them, but they only only have seven degrees. Let's say, come on, let's time for you to go into war. But now they are fighting the French and the British Siam. Or oh, the Dutch. The Dutch surrendered. Yeah, I can assign my Grenz commander troops to garrison the entire coastline when uh, they capitulate. I should maybe train more of the uh, Division. Maybe train the template a bit so they don't require that much of manpower. I think four templates should be enough. Let's cancel production of some and train many, many Sicherungsdivision. Yes. On train six, hmm, fine. Let's uh, get 18. That's fine, should be fine. All oh, we can see the war is going on swiftly. Okay, we have mm, eight divisions. Let's redo the battle plan. All right, there we go. And strike and strike. Well, with this mod, I'd really say to play it. It's great fun. My time is sadly coming to an end, but Belgium already surrendered, and I'm going to finish after the French surrendered as well. Also, the French 
capitulation. Let's insert the Calais. So now second Dunkirk. There we go. Let's do the. But we are inserting division after division. Yeah, attack aggressively. Let's see how long can the French resist with their 25% of national unity. The French aren't ready for this war at all. They aren't ready. They'll pay for it. And Luxembourg surrendered as well. There we go. We've got zero rifles. Great. And France, the fall of Paris. Another victory for the fatherland and the capitulation of the French. Wow. Total surrender. Total surrender of the French. Now it's you know, you know what, if you check the map out, the axis is quite huge. Well, what I would do is I would invite the... I would invite Norway and Denmark, because if you check the resource map out, Norway has, well, aluminum, tungsten, and steel, and Danish also have some equipment. So I'd invite them. But I'm done here. So let me know. I'll just look how many combat we shot down. Isn't that great? Will kind of destroy the entire British fleet outside. <laughs> kind of. I don't know where they are, so OP. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching, for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please tell me your opinion about this mod. I may make a poll, so go shoot the world for this. And I wish you all a good day. Go sure to check out my red links down below in the description. If you buy something on G2A or Amazon, go sure to use them. And goodbye now. Take care.